Hey there, what's happening traders? Welcome back to yet another version of my weekly segment called Trader Talk. Now guys, first of all, I like to say I missed you guys actually. Last week I didn't put out a video because I was actually in the middle of a trade and frankly I just got a little bit lazy because sometimes I like to actually withdraw money from the market and actually go live my life okay last week i actually spent most of last week shopping and relaxing and chilling because the thing about forex is a lot of people fail to realize that you actually need to take money out of the market hit that withdraw button no matter how little it is you make and this is part of the things that i always preach on the forex mastery course redrawing your money from the forex market is such a vital part of your trader psychology journey yes because what's the point i because i you know what's the point of making all this money and then you're just seeing it on the screen and then what happens is one bad trade comes along and wipes you out like what is the point it just feels like you're working in vain so what i actually did was i actually redrew some money from my trading account and spent most of last week just chilling shopping and obviously guys would you believe i've been living in my apartment in dubai for about eight months now i literally didn't have curtains in my living room just because i was so busy with life and trading and e-com and all that kind of stuff so last week took money out of my trading account and actually went to go and enjoy myself and it felt really good because i could actually feel the fruits of my labor and the same thing for you forex mastery students i want you guys to you know ensure that you withdraw some money no matter how little it is because at the end of the day you're putting a lot of effort you're putting a lot of energy into this game you should be able to withdraw some money out and go and spend some time with your family so guys once again welcome to another episode today i'm going to be jumping into the chart um a couple of i think last week we've had one of the best trading weeks or months in like two months to two to three months why because AUD USD has been giving us back to back winning trades guys the market is respecting our market philosophy of top down analysis forex mastery students you already know how to do this whereby we go on higher time frames and we analyze all the way down and AUD USD we have been absolutely milking it so AUD USD has actually given us north of 300 pips in profit and gold actually tanked almost about I think 600 pips so in total of last week alone uh, we've been able to net about 900 pips which i'm obviously going to show you guys on my screen shortly so i wanted to say a quick shout out to all the forex mastery students i will always give you guys a shout out to keep encouraging you guys you know to tell you guys that listen all the things you learn on the forex mastery course i'm happy that you guys are actually starting to see it play out in real life okay you're not just learning for learning's sake a lot of people learn 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 but they never they're never able to practicalize it okay the last two weeks you know the last two weeks have actually shown us that what it is that we hold on to in terms of price action and the philosophy of the top-down analysis actually does work as far as i'm concerned that is the most realistic way to trade the foreign exchange market so for those of you who haven't grabbed the forex mastery course you're sleeping on the bicycle okay the link is going to be down below and sure to grab it but um enough about that once again shout out to all the forex mastery students because i love you guys so dearly guys literally one guy sent me a screenshot he was like he sent me a screenshot of how much he had made um, from the gold short trades that we have been analyzing you know um on mastery course and obviously on my youtube channel he sent me a screenshot and he was like sir take a look at your student that made me so proud the guy had made a lot of money on gold and that actually makes me really happy so without any further ado i'm gonna jump into my charts let's go over what worked okay how we're able to make money off of it what we decided not to trade why we decided not to trade them and let's also see if there are any trading opportunities for us to jump into so guys without any further ado let's absolutely go if you haven't gotten the course already i suggest you do so the link is going to be down below but for now let's talk some chart lego hey hey what's happening people welcome inside of my screen just making sure everything is recording fine mic check webcam check all right fantastic it's good to have you guys obviously once again um for some strange reason between the introduction of this video and this aspect of the video my energy level has actually dropped so pardon me if i feel a bit um seem a bit off but notwithstanding i'm definitely going to give you guys an amazing trader talk um anyway scratch that yeah so let's jump into the chart so what i actually have in front of us right about now today we're going to kick off with 
AUD USD. Now, why are we kicking off with AUD USD? We're kicking off with this because AUD USD has, you know, gone on to make us a significant amount of money. I remember calling the short trade somewhere about here. I said um, a pullback of here, touch of here, um, four hour candle break. My entries were actually on four hour candle break of somewhere about here. Okay, and we've pretty much been able to ride this wave all the way to what the downside. Now, my overall targets for AUD USD are this blue bar about here. Why is this my overall target? If you do your top down analysis properly, Forex Mastery students, you already know how to plot your key levels. All my levels here are simply plotted based on key levels. They're so simple and straightforward to plot, but most of the time, a lot of traders get them wrong my key levels are here to pretty much guide me and help me know exactly where the market is most likely going to go into and where the market is most likely going to turn around so what actually gave birth to this reversal because AUD USD was actually in an uptrend for a very long time as you can see from March of 2020 all the way up until uh, March of 2021, which is an entire one whole year of an uptrend. So what gave birth to this reversal? Now, we started to see, um, I mean, if you check on the weekly time frame, this is a left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So Forex Mastery students, you know, once we see a chart pattern form on a weekly time frame, it simply means one thing, trend reversal. So that's strike one. Strike two, we also saw a clear break, which was this of this neckline. Don't forget the way we trade at the Forex Mastery course is um, our trading is broken down into two, okay? The trading is broken down into two because one aspect is for market analysis and the other aspect is for trade execution so first things first we need to understand where exactly is this market going a lot of people confuse um get confused when i say stuff like um go on higher time frames to 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 obviously get your trading done i actually do i i don't actually mean that you should trade on higher time frames a lot of people feel that oh because they have small account sizes they can't go to higher time frames that is very very false that's not what i mean what i simply mean is on higher time frames once we're able to analyze on higher time frames we can get the full picture so the higher time frame was able to tell us that aud usd was due for a massive reversal okay and a massive reversal that would most likely come into this blue zone about here so once we're able to see that on higher time frames then we were able to scale to time frames like the four hour time frame and start looking for what only selling opportunities which were somewhere around here now i held on to my selling opportunity for a very long i'm actually still holding on to my sales i have a second sell position on the break of this counter trend line about here forex mastery students you should be very familiar with this chart it was very simple and straightforward equation a clear break guys i'll take this again so there was a clear break of the neckline sorry i'm moving a bit fast you can see clear break we don't trade here we don't trade at the trade at the break of structure on the higher time frame we this is a confirmation for us we use the higher time frames to kind of like not just in the right direction so AUD USD higher time frame was able to give us that kick give us the kick in that direction i'm like okay cool it's time for us to start going um so once we're able to anticipate the move on a higher time frame we then had to scale to lower time frames to refine our entry so what we've been able to do in essence is i've been able to anticipate that once we break out of this 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 neckline about here our next level target is going to be here and here so if you calculate from 0 0.758 0 0.7600 which is about here all the way to 0 0.700 so the difference is about 600 pips so all we did on a higher time frame was to anticipate the entire move on a higher time frame and once we're able to get the entire move on a higher time frame only then were we able to scale to lower time frames to trade in that direction. I hope this actually starts to make sense to a lot of people because a lot of people were like, but I have a little account size. How can I profit off of this? It's the same thing. You're most likely going to trade on a, on a lower time frame. All I require from you to do is do the market analysis on higher time frames, okay, before you come to lower time frames so that you have a more 
confident direction okay so that you know that if you're clicking that sell button that sell trade is most likely going to work out or if you're clicking that buy button it's most likely going to work out why because the higher time frame says so why because you have done your due diligence on a higher time frame so i'm still very much i still have both my positions open if you combine both positions at the moment i'm currently floating about 310 pips um at about 12 lots each so it's a significant amount of money i was actually able to close out i actually have 14.3 lots open i closed out two made some redraws last week obviously when shopping I actually still have some of the stuff that i bought um I obviously can't start showing you the stuff i bought but it's actually right next to me some really cool stuff some new clothes you know um because like i was saying to you guys i never really have the time to enjoy myself i moved to a new city which is dubai and i haven't really gone out i've been on my screens either i'm working on e-commerce or i'm trading or i'm doing analysis or i'm freaking shooting videos for you guys so it felt really rewarding for me to actually redraw some of my profits and actually go out and chill so uh, there you go guys um i think i should have a couple of my positions open um, okay, I'm going to take a screenshot and put it somewhere on here so that you guys can actually see that this ain't no joke. A real live account um, so that you guys can see. Yeah. So that you guys can also see um, all the trades in real time. So I, I, I hope you guys have been able to somewhat be able to verify my transparency because all the trades that i all the trades that i take i come on here and i call them live if you're doubting me watch the previous video we called all this shit live okay even when the market came down here i said it was time to start selling broke the counter trend line and bam all the way down here so my i'm actually going to be taking out at least 80 percent of my positions about here because i'm not really sure if this market can maintain this momentum all the way here i feel we're most likely going to get another retracement before we come here so i don't really want to be caught up in this market coming here and then pushing all the way back to the upside although my stop losses are somewhere about here obviously i keep locking up. i have what they call a trailing stop um so yeah i'm completely risk-free and some good pips in the bank now aud usd is just one of the trades we took the juiciest one i feel like the juiciest one was gold okay so i had anticipated gold um give me a sec here guys my gold trades were actually um so there was a simple counter trend line break and a break of structure yes right about here so if you come on the four hour i'll just quickly explain to you guys why exactly we went short so my short trades were actually somewhere inside of here and my stop losses came above here and my overall targets were actually this green bar about here first level targets here second level targets here i call this live on the trader talk you can check the previous videos i'm just here to update you guys to tell you guys what i'm actually looking at at the moment and lo and behold our first target first level target was smashed before i even knew what was happening we were this close to my second level target and guys the most annoying thing happened guys we came shy of my second level my overall target few pips you can see i'm so pissed off okay we jumped all the way back here so i ended up closing my second trade somewhere about here actually it was actually somewhere around here once i started to see this consolidation it didn't really look like this market was going to continue heading lower i just closed it out just imagine if obviously this first level target gave me some money but oh guys look at how close i was look at how close i was yes this even happens to the best traders as well and no it's not my broker's fault um usually what happens is that the market will need to kind of like cross this line significantly before i get taken out for a take profit it's just the way brokers fulfill orders so my trade would have the market needed to have come somewhere around here for my this take, this take profit to have been activated that didn't happen i'm not going to cry but nevertheless on gold i was still able to make a significant amount of profit if i do the calculation on 8 10 all the way down to one to one seven two so you're looking at about 700 pips in profit on this massive drop alone you guys know i have not really been trading gold um i've just been waiting for it to get ripe and ripe and so far so good gold was able to give us this massive drop moving forward gold has dropped however gold has jumped back into this range okay so from what i can see on a higher time frame gold has i really wish gold had actually 
come down here and stayed here and actually continue going lower then we could have actually said that yes indeed this is a full scale trend reversal but gold hasn't done that instead what gold has done is gold has in its usual fashion in its usual way of trickery my nigerian brothers will call it wayo in his usual way of trickery gold has rallied all the way back above its trend line so this was pretty much a false break okay good thing we made some money off it but gold has i feel like gold just simply wanted to come and fulfill this key level okay i know why that reversal happened like that you see when you start to see things you understand what this the weekly level it actually did this is why it's always good to draw your key levels on what the candle close on weekly or daily i usually like to use the daily but in this case we came to the weekly and that's exactly where it closed um but all the same is pretty much the same thing it's okay it's one of those things guys nobody is perfect the market can act a bit irrational sometimes and it's nothing to, to beat yourself over so guys i've been able to close out my gold in some handsome hefty profits as i speak to you um this is august 18th i'm currently up about 64 percent return on investment yes i started off the channel with you guys in january at zero percent return it was literally break even we've had a lot of winning trades we've had a lot of break even trades and i think we've only been able to account for about one or two losses since january if you ask me that's a very good track record I'm very transparent. I come on here and I speak to you guys. If you, you're doubting this, go and start from Trader Talk Volume 1. Watch from January. You can take down the notes yourself. I've been transparent. Trades that worked out, we celebrated. Trades that didn't work out, we cried together. And trades that hit our break even and were able to get some profit out of it. Don't forget, my break even trades doesn't mean I didn't make money. My break even trade simply means that I was only able to take maybe a, a certain portion you guys know at the 100 percent retracement is where i always close a portion of my trade so break even trades for me don't mean i don't i didn't make money break even trades for me means that after i closed my trade at the first level target the remaining trade just went back and hit my stop loss for a break even okay even on break even trades we were making money although on break even trades we were not the, the profits were not huge like this one and AUD USD. So if we combine everything together, I was actually just looking at my equity curve. Um, it's actually somewhere on my screen about here. I'll probably share my screen, my equity curve with you guys at the end of the trading year so that you guys can actually see our performance. But so far, so good. We're currently at 63.7%, which isn't bad. Don't forget, I'm trading for a lot of very wealthy investors. Um, and this is already August. I can't really say what's going to happen for the rest of the year. But I am hopeful that we can hopefully double this account. I'm actually trading... It's significant like the, the account size is actually quite significant if you ask me definitely it's a lot of money runs into the millions of us dollars so 60 63 percent it's not bad at the moment i'm actually quite happy um so actually let me just check so this so my aud usd i need this trade to close in profit so that we can actually guarantee that we're actually at 64 percent on the dot because it's floating at the moment so um yeah so hopefully AUD USD just behaves itself once i close it out i can actually smile at this point i don't really need to even trade again for the rest of the year because forex mastery students for those of you who've taken the forex mastery and the forex in millionaires course which teaches you how to get investors sorry birds are flying um you hear me speak about you don't need to return crazy amounts of money every year for you to become, you know, for people to give you money to trade for them. I'm only up 60, 63 point fraction slash 64%. And my investors are very happy. They, 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 they're calling me every day. They're happy. Not every day, but I mean, they send me messages. We see our account growing. Obviously, we send them monthly reports. They're happy about that. You know, and you see, I don't really stress myself. Sometimes I'm, and I don't trade for like two weeks. I only trade when the market is ready. And this is exactly what I teach you guys on the Forex Mastery course, okay? There's no need to stress yourself. Trading should be fun. It should be free. It should be easy. It should be, you know, just do your thing, okay? Don't get emotionally attached, invested in the market. This is exactly, to, as far as I'm concerned, that's my biggest secret. I don't stress about the markets, okay? When the market is ready, it just lets me know, okay? And what else do I have to say? I mean, uh, uh, let me not act like, let me not act like, um, 
obviously people aren't struggling with the market people are definitely struggling with the market but my point here is um the, the more you actually trade the market and the more you actually start to detach yourself the more you actually i think it's more about being confident in your knowledge that's what trading actually comes down to for me i'm very confident in what i know this is why I can tell you guys that, yo, listen, guys, I'm not touching this. I'm not touching this today. I'm not touching this. <laughs> or I'd be like, guys, I can bet you. I can guarantee you. Because I have confidence in my confidence in my knowledge. And I kind of like know almost for certain what the market is most likely going to do next. Because I know quite a lot about the market. Okay. So a lot of this comes from experience. Most of the experience most of the experience i combined it into um the course i put it obviously combined it together in a video series and put it on the course i tried to put as much as knowledge as i could and experience into the course but for me it just ultimately boils down to um i just i've, I've seen this shit before okay most of the patterns that form in the market i've most likely seen them before so i can tell you hey i know this guy it's a bad guy you know anyway so enough of that let me not waste most of your time today okay um so hey guys one more thing if you're watching this video one more thing if one more thing while you're watching this video um guys don't forget to go follow me on instagram instagram is i've, I've actually started using i've actually started using my instagram a lot lately i've actually started using my instagram a lot lately if you want to see me spend a lot of the trading money if you want to see me where i live in dubai because at the end of the day i realized that i only just come on here and actually just talk to you guys a lot about charts you guys actually want to see how i'm living how i'm spending this trading money okay you actually want to see me actually spend this money my instagram is the best place to catch me my name on instagram is dapper.willis dapo.willis so d-a-p-o it's like my youth my youtube name which is dapo willis but there's just a dot in between so go follow me on on youtube <laughs> go follow me on instagram and let's catch up you can send me a dm please don't send me too many dms but i mean you can catch up with me there and yeah let's actually build a community and stuff like that anyway so guys back to the charts okay gold what do i think gold is going to do next now gold will need to do something like actually come and break this level right about here because at this point it's very 50 50 we can bounce out of here it's actually looking like that might be possible so we're currently at the decision zone at the moment if gold can come in and put another daily candle close back down below back down below this level about here actually i see a fibonacci playing out from swing high to swing low somewhere about here actually this fibonacci has been broken nevertheless i'm going to actually look at this on the weekly time frame because sometimes once you look at things on a higher time frame you're able to see a lot more clearly on, on lower time frames you just get a bit blind okay so let's just quickly draw this stuff as you can see there you go so what has actually happened is very funny so we've broken out of this trend line this descending trend line okay we've tanked back down below it with so there's a lot of indecision going on around here so we can either rally all the way let me zoom this in for you guys we can either rally out of here to like brand new high somewhere around here but if we can sustain below this level i need i'm not going to touch gold so this is where i go i'm not going to touch gold until we come back down below here once we're able to come back down below here yes i can start looking for selling opportunities all the way down to this bad boy somewhere around about here so we have a lot of space okay so the determinant factor i'll just simplify this for you guys is these two guys about here if sorry guys let me see hear some noise so if we can break down below here fantastic sales start going again you know so it's between here and here so i'm just going to be watching gold gold has made me a significant amount of money i'm not really in a hurry but i'm gonna at this point i'm gonna to need to watch gold to see what exactly is happening now we've broken out down aud usd um let's see what's happening on gbp usd actually so gbp usd um is another clear case i think we're actually forming this left shoulder right shoulder we're currently at the neckline and this is a weekly time frame so i'm expecting guys you're hearing it here live first here on dapsis radio 106.5 haha mic check 212 if we break 
if we break this green bar at 1.36738, which is about here, best believe we have a lot of room to bleed to the downside, at least all the way down to somewhere about here. Give me a sec. Okay, so at this point, um, GBPUSD is kind of like acting. So what you want to do is go and watch my previous two videos, my previous video where I broke down AUDUSD's head and shoulder. It will give you an it will give you some forex mastery students. Go and watch that video. Also watch the module on trend reversals as well. It will give you some more insight as to how to trade this setup. Right. So if you check, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to see a clear break of this neckline. Once we get a clear break of this neckline, most likely we're gonna come down here. But um, GPUSD hasn't done that here. So as long as we're inside of here, there's a lot of indecision going on. And this is why for most people who are trying to trade the pound, they are most likely getting into, they buy, once they buy, the market gives them some pips and then it reverses by the end of the day or the next day. So a lot of people are getting stressed out. The trades are not working out. Why are your trades not working out? Because if you scale to a higher time frame, you find out that the market is actually stuck in a range. GBPUSD is pretty much in a range. AUDUSD was in a range, hence why we couldn't make a lot of money. But look at what happened to AUDUSD when it eventually broke out. We made a lot of money. Same thing with gold as well. So for GBPUSD, we're currently stuck in a range. The euro, on the other hand, has been very magnanimous. Okay, We made a significant amount of pips on the euro however i closed out my euro trade very prematurely because i got scared <laughs> but that's fine it happens to everybody and i'll explain to you why i got scared of the euro now my overall target for the euro okay when i started selling inside of here okay check my previous videos you see the setup as well so my sell trades were somewhere around here okay so there's a clear break retest Counter trend line entry strategy, mastery students, you already know how to do that. Sell trades were here. My overall target was this green. Let me just delete this. My overall target was this green bar about here. So I was expecting to make all of these juicy pips to the downside. But something happened along the way. Now, tr one thing about trading is we can forecast, we can plan. Yes, 1,000 pips in the future. However, there's times whereby things just happen along the way so what actually makes a good trader is how you react when things throw you off balance so what actually happened in this case was as the market was coming all the way down i noticed that we started having issues around this region we kept on rejecting so we rejected it here and then we came back and i noticed we we're actually rejecting it here and we came back and rejected it for the third time and that's exactly where i decided to zoom out so if for any reason you're in a trade and the market keeps rejecting a particular level, simply scale out to a higher time frame and check and make sure your levels are drawn properly. When I eventually came to draw my levels, I found out that there was actually a massive wedge forming and the euro was at the bottom of the wedge. What did I do? I got the hell out of the trade. Although the market eventually came to... Came to um, hit my overall target but i didn't want to know because seven out of ten times the market will reverse against me now i have rules in place okay to safeguard my account to safeguard my trading sometimes okay those rules prevent me and i have to be honest with you guys sometimes those rules prevent me from making a lot more money than i should yes that's true However, most times those rules protect my capital, which is the most important thing for me. It saves me a lot of money. It does. So the rules I put in place, sometimes the market might go and make me make go on to move in the direction that I wanted it to go to, and obviously I could have made a lot more money. But that only happens maybe one or two out of ten times. Like in this case, yes, I could have made more money. I got out of the trade early. However, 9 out of 10 times, this guy would have reversed back to the other. And I would have been crying. So it's all the tears and all the losses over the years that have actually made me draft out very strict 
rules when it comes to my trading. If I see something, I don't like it, and it's not looking good, I ain't touching it. I'm not touching it. Or if I'm in trade and I'm starting to notice some bullish engulfing candles flicking off a level, it keeps on rejecting. I might look at it, give it some time. If I'm not comfortable, I'm out. Okay? So, guys. I'm gonna leave you with that. And this for this week, we don't really have any trades that I would like for us to place. I'm gonna be monitoring GBP USD for a break of that level. AUD, I'm actually in my AUD USD trade is looking very juicy and nice. Another thing is I don't think AUD USD is gonna drop all the way down here in one stretch. Watch out for this level, watch out for another consolidation. Obviously, I'm gonna be here back here next week to update you guys. Watch out for another consolidation and then so that you guys can potentially because i feel like this market is too linear okay you guys already know what that means so forex mastery students you know once the market is too linear like this is too it's too straight usually what tends to happen is that the market wants to it will eventually get to a point and start retracing for a bigger retracement and then before he heads lower so that's exactly how the market works so guys once again it's your genius dapsy <laughs> Thank you for staying to the very end of Trader Talk. I have a little message for you guys on my other screen as always. Don't forget to follow me on um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and don't forget to do yourself a favor and grab the Forex Mastery course. Once again, thank you so much. This video is very long and I'll catch you guys in my other screen. Take it easy and peace out. So there you go. Thank you for staying to the very end of this Trader Talk video. Um, today, I, I think I was pretty much just bragging about how we made a lot of money in the market because sometimes we actually have to what pat ourselves on the back and tell ourselves well done that was a fantastic trade because guys the market can be quite challenging okay and anytime we come out on top we should actually celebrate not too much but we should actually be like yes we did a fantastic job we stuck to our rules especially the rules that i teach on the forex mastery program the trades that we decided not to take the ones we decided to take have actually yielded us a lot of a lot a lot of profit so guys once again thank you for staying to the very end um once again the link to the forex mastery course is going to be down below in the description don't kid yourself you need proper education all right guys so i'm going to leave you guys on this note and yeah i'll catch you guys later take it easy and peace out